Saga Siren work. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting path for Secret if they can take the victory here up against Navi. But we got what we wanted, Wildcup. It's battle. a fighting lineup from Navi. Yep, it is, and it's time also for us to welcome all the viewers tuning in from the streams. If you're watching there, or if you're watching in Dota TV or on YouTube, does not matter. Very welcome to you guys. Hope you enjoy this series between Secret and Navi. Hi. <laughs> uh, it's it's gonna be. I'm hoping it's gonna be a bit of a cracker. So Navi. Everyone together, we got a five-man smoke movement into the Radiant Jungle. Arteezy is, however, playing at King of the Hill. He'll walk in close now. Havors is the first man. He's scouting. the skeleton walk so we can see up. He won't be able to see Poppy. Oh, he going. just slipped around the corner. It's a four-man snowball going into Arteezy. They go with the Hex and the Stunner. And goodbye, Arteezy. The hatred is real, and the first blood is brilliant. Yeah. Art style is gonna secure that one on the undying. Good start for him, gonna get earlier boots. But they're still trying to contest the bottom rune if they possibly could with Secret. Uh, those two observer words was Wait, a misplay. That, that had to be a set, like it meant to be all, yeah. and both now, of them. Oh God. Well, both. he hasn't seen the other one. I know, if Let's he, pray, Toby, he's okay. not gonna walk if that way. If he walks up to look at the rune. No, no, no don't look He's at gonna that. take it. He can't look at the rune there. They got that you, could, you could look at the rune, man. Man, look at Tusk, he, he would fuck you up. So, so Dendi's gonna get one, <laughs> and uh, s is gonna take the other. So it is gonna go to the mid lane as Arteezy. Well, our style's gonna just decay Arteezy and harass him away, which means a blink. And this bottom lane, there's no one there. Kuro and Zai have head up towards the top lane. So they're gonna run a Bane core off lane with the support of the Naga Siren. Actually, is that even the case yeah, here? Yeah, Zai has played offlane uh, core Bane before. He rushed the blade mail. That was when a lot of people were doing the blade mail rush on Bane. So I believe we're going to see that again very good in this game against Leshrac and against Lion. These heroes are really not going to deal well with that. And he instantly enfeebles Havos. So Havos currently does terrible, 12 damage. Like, terrible lane Techies, for him. it actually does more damage than Klinks does right now. Yeah, Techie deals three times as much damage as this Klinks. Huge. Massive. Uh, massive. Crazy. Uh, crazy, uh, crazy strong. So he is getting help. They realize the lanes and they're bringing up the Undying and Lion here, trying to wrap around. But Bane, pretty fast hero and also pretty tanky. He's just gonna walk out. Yeah, just have a just have a bit of a run. Dendi and uh, S4 is also having a bit, little bit more of a battle. Arstal, be careful with this. The Kree wave might have been pulled back up again. He just keeps that decay, that decay going. Yeah. Also, rip to anyone who took uh, Toby's bet there. With the uh, <laughs> the first the harpy. thing from a from a harpy. Yeah. Now they were two on top of that. Oh, look at the ganking creeps from Puppy. Hey, you couldn't ask the for better dream. creeps. Like, okay, you're still gonna get a kill from this. S4 always go do a shadow strike. If he can blink and shadow strike Dendi, he'll slow him down. The centaur will tank up the entire tower oh, and TP supports coming in the trap into the stomp. Then he will look for the stun. He doesn't hit Puppy, oh, but then again, Puppy he can't finish the job. The lightning bounce. Where is that troll attack? The salve. salve. He'll actually cancel the south but Denny survives that's more important than s4 Seneca one last attack can't get it the bleak away from s4 two kills in a row now for coming in for Navi yeah that is huge there Dendi living he has to run back to base but Seneca's can be very happy to take the mid lane while he's gone so this can actually give some well needed experience as well for that just those two creeps that lion got there should also flag bottom lane so yes RTZ died early on and Funnic got a little bit more space in the lane uh, but he is a full level in front of Arteezy, not to mention a crap ton of farm. Yeah, he's hitting really hard and just having the boots, Stout Shield and Quelling Blade this early on. And also the Mango there, in case he ever needs mana against the Antimage. This uh, is they a great kill him. So Nako's here with a haste rune on the other side of the tree yeah, line. Yeah, he wants to, if, but... If he wants to run in, there's I still the dire creep wave here, but Funny's got no mana, so yep, Soneko in for the stun. They he can. does have a follow-up hex. They're just trying to, okay, run away. Uh, that's that's what they're trying to do. Yeah, well, they can't kill him under tower there, and there's so much region on this Antimage as well that he's perfectly fine. He started with eight tangles and salve, so he doesn't mind at all that they tried to kill him under the tower because they're not strong enough. If he used his mango, he would be able to use one spell as Tusk, but it wouldn't be enough. So, Havost working with uh, Art Style to try and keep that life low. If he doesn't have a lot of damage, just remove the life points yeah. from, from the Bane. That's one way to work I it. I would not be surprised to see multiple points being put into the Enfeeble in this game by Bane, just because how hard it can counter the Clinks. He only has right click. That's all he has to his name. So if you get at least two points, maybe go even harder, but two points is enough, I think. And then just kill three into Brain Sap and 
Your ulti, and you're gonna be pretty fine. Kuro's trying to zone Dendi out. He's not coming in for a kill. He's just making sure he's in a visible area that Dendi does not want to come close to S4. Yeah. And it's successful. Dendi right now is really crippled in CS. He's 6-4, and he only just went up to 6 just then because of his lightning. Yeah, he is hurting in CS for sure. He has his bottle coming out right now, but he has to recover. It's a good thing for him that he didn't die, and he was part of two assists there at least. Yep. So he's not doing terrible. But um, yeah, Antimage on bottom lane is getting the undisturbed free farm actually this game. I'm not gonna say completely undisturbed, but he is farming a lot. Are you still looking for the for the blade melt uh, coming out from Zai? Because he's okay. He picks up a bottle. I was wondering what his extra money was from was for. Hmm. Yeah. He's gonna go a bottle bane. Yeah, it's a good start to get the bottle just to be able to lane a little bit more, and uh, they are putting aggression with the Naga and the Bane up here, trying to keep this. Uh, Clinks from farming because if Clinks can finish up an early Deso or an early Orchid, he would be punishing the AM so much. There's the Enfeeble. The Force having a bit of a of a fun battle. They can't get the ensnare and there's no detection for Team Secret on this top lane. But Avorst running down. The Courier's going to come into an Avorst. Well, he, he looked both directors down the Tombstone, dropping down Zai. Trying. There's three stick charges available. And he's trying to bottle oh. charge in between the attacks. Brainstab, he turns on Avorst. Kuro, a little bit more damage. Bane, he will eventually so go zombies. down. And Taneko also on the way in, following up with a stun. Kuro with one last Riptide and stick charges, but he will go down. Artstyle picks up the double kill. Artstyle getting such a good start here on his Undying, and he's level 4 after that. They did, however, lose their Clinks, but that's still a good trade for them. Especially as the Clinks was having quite a hard time farming straight up on this lane. So, helps him a lot. Puppy smoke moving in towards the mid. Yeah. He's only got a help air as well as a Dark Troll summon on that. Help air's only got 10 seconds left on it. Yeah, he has to go soon then. He's the gonna, he's looping around. He's going to come in behind the tower. S4's ready. He's got Sonic Wave and double damage. The stun off target. Bane might kill off on dying in the meantime. Oh. But S4 takes the kill in the mid. That timing on the Hell Bear. He gets the clap, gets the last hit with it, and then immediately dies afterwards. So the timing on the on the gank was very well, well done by uh, Puppy. Bane also got 300 gold for that kill on the Undying. Oh yeah, it was, it was a three kill streak. Oh, on the clinks, you mean? Uh, or, oh yeah, no, 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 on, on on, dying. On, oh yeah, on they killed undying. He killed undying on the top lane. True. Uh, Funic. Hello. S4. Troll trap is up. There's still the end of that double oh, damage rune, and DD they're trying room. to go deep, so he has to snowball up at least up to the high ground. And Funic, no way down. Enchantress will take the last hit, and that's 1,300 gold into the Enchantress. While Kuro being stunned and hexed, Dendi looking for the follow on He'll get in range, and with the help of Art Style, they find themselves another kill for Navi. Nine kills already, just six minutes into the game. Action all over here, and they just keep looking to turn up the heat as Art Style runs up top and tries to zone away Zai from this top lane. That possible to do so. They gotta, like, yeah, they might even dive him actually because they have Lion coming in from behind. So Neko never stops. So Neko, okay, sometimes stop back out. Well, with the observer well, there, they know what they're up against. Yeah, and Puppy isn't coming to help him out. Like, Puppy keeps finding like these, these centaurs, trolls, wild wings. They're the roaming gankers, not the lane presence. Something like a wild wing would, uh, like, sorry, a harpy would give you. But Navi, okay, they are committing heavily. Dyer's Kuro's up here, tower. no level Sunday six. Attack. And Seneko, well, can he even get close enough? They're gonna see him walking up the stairs in a moment. He's right on the edge, or he was right on the edge of the vision. Yeah, he was. Funnick is here as well, and he wants to get the snowball, but he has to get it from straight ahead, and that's very difficult. As I, can they go? It's a long way up. Kuro gonna rip tight in. The snowball goes over on Zai, but Seneko is snared up. And well, where's your way out? s is gonna arrive. No Sonic way, but Zai still alive with one charge and bottle charges. The minions are chasing him down. Oh, the God. Undying too. Stone is what kills him, and S4 and Kuro, they're having the same problem. It's the walking dead right now, as S4 retreats back as far as he could possibly go, but Funic chasing, he's got Snowball available, but now he realizes he's all alone. Yeah, I can't believe they got away there with the Undying like, and he's the going, line. He's going, he's going on S4 with the stop, and he gets him, him before the blink! That was so close to the end of the animation there on the blink. Tusk gets the solo kill, 467 gold. Well, all the while we're tower. seeing this, Antimage is farming bottom Dyer's and pushing as much as possible. Fortified. But his team is getting the worst end of these trades. Okay, the what does Puppy do with his 2,000 gold? Midas? Is, is my, well, he would... He would probably already have the recipe for that if he was going to do it already. I don't know. No need to purchase it. No need to show that you're going to Midas, I guess. Dendi? 
Yeah, he actually picks up the Midas immediately, and that's going to be the build. It gives nice attack speed and also gives you more levels on Enchantress, which she desperately needs, actually. Hmm? Uh, especially as you start running around a lot ganking. When you go into these games such as uh, this one, r roaming around and controlling the game for your team is important. Especially the way that Puppy plays Enchantress. Yeah. Because I, I know we have had this discussion previously about Chen and how you hit like that 30, 40 minute mark and Chen just really falls off. You're meant to win before that point. Enchantress is the jungler that gives you that early presence, but gives you a lot of damage in the later portion of the game. The she impetus does. damage from Enchantress is really, really strong with Radiant's the Ag's upgrade. Yeah, and it can also attack. hit people in BKB. And meanwhile, we see a little smoke here by Navi running down, trying to do something about the free farm from Arteezy. Remember, he only has that one death because he died before the creep spawn. Didn't really set back his farm or anything, just gave gold to the enemy. Yep. So he's been doing very well down here. Very patient oh, behind he the knows. tower. Yeah, he, he read this coming. Look at the illusions in the dire jungle. Like, Nagasan has scouted this out. She knows that there's no one here. But oh. Puppy, though. Yeah, Puppy might die. There's just Snowball coming in. Stars the surprise. He's got two points up and untouchable. It's not the... Okay, well, I was going to say not the quickest kill, but they commit I mean, Tombstone and Punch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not, you're not untouchable when Tusk comes. Tusk and his ulti, it, it will definitely mess with you. Yeah, Even the Windrunner evasion or any evasion is not going to save you from Walrus Punch. But with the with the three man rotation that you just said, including committing a smoke, you didn't kill the animate, which yep. was your priority, and you've still got top lane where Kuro is now turning into a core. That you got both Bane as well as Nagasaran at level six on this top lane. Yeah, they decided that okay, we farmed up the Bane until he had his bottle, boots, and magic one, and then we're trying to give over the farm to Nagasaran so that she can turn if, if into If they something. don't kill Kuro straight away here. Uh, they're getting out. Yeah. And in fact, he sees Seneko coming up. They start with the Decay, Kuro, Song of the Siren, the Stun, and the Hex. They've got it for the Nightmare on Denny. He may not have enough damage. Okay, they will kill Kuro. Zai, Diving. low life in the tree lane. He's got Fiend's Grip available. Not going to use it when he's this deep in, however. So they find another one. It's a Navi, four man ten tank and four. Train. Navi's doing great in this game. And S4, he is playing his Queen of Pain, looking here to find anything. Could kill the Courier, could ulti the Courier if he feels scared to go for it. Um, as it does hit the courier with See, its I'm, damage. The tender fall looks good for Navi. But I still feel it's very, very deceptive for who has the advantage. Oh, it always is. Antimage is never going to play in much towards the kills unless it's a really weird game. But it's, it's also the, like the gold overall. Like, it's 750 still going the way of Secret when you're six kills Dyer's behind. The experience, which when you get a lot of kills you think would be in front, it's actually 2,000. It was 2,500 at one point going the way of Secret. I mean, that's what happened when you're on Enchantress with jungling and Midas, though. You get so much experience from that, and sometimes when you gank a lot, you're just spending a lot of time running around finding ganks. But I don't think the levels hurt them that much. They have level 6 on Lion now. They have level 6 on Undying. I don't think uh, the experience difference is that hurtful for Navi. Like, uh, maybe I'm just looking at it from the other perspective of... Secrets just not being slowed down, and they're basically running a four-core lineup. Yeah, with this, pretty much, pretty much, yeah. But uh, bottom lane, Artie's gonna get out of here. Avos right behind him. Snake on our star, making them move. Snake can't get the attack. hex in time. He's trying to come the inside the smoke, and there's a lot of support around the corner. Without the tusk, they can't really go like that. If they had tusk and lion coming in instead of tusk and un or uh, undying and lion, they would have been able to snowball and chase after, even when he blinks. But, uh, but Artisi just bailed. Yeah. So the, the second he realized they're all there, he just TP top. So he's up there with Kuro. That's how it goes. Whenever you see that a lot of people are invading your lane when you attack. play Antmage, just skip that lane, go somewhere else, put pressure Dyer's onto towers, and make the enemy regret attack. that they're not there. And how do you even take it from here? Okay, I'll start let off the tombstone Radiant's very early on, but he can easily attack. keep it alive. It's the undead minions. Mid tower. They battle. Okay, middle lane. They go for Zai with the Hex. Did he follow up the pulse? Nova, Finger of Death, S4, dropping insanely low. Zai's are taking a lot to kill him off, but eventually he will die. Yeah, just barely not getting the kill on Queen of Pain there. Nice try with uh, the Finger and so on from Suneko. They still didn't... Like, okay, so you killed off the Bane. Wonderful. Uh, we are classing him as a core in this game for Secret because they're running the four core. Uh, but you didn't take the T1 tower in bottom lane. Artizi's still farming up the top lane by intercepting the creep wave Dyer's and dropping that T1 tower, tower down attack. with more damage than Na'Vi did to the bottom T1 tower, and that was when they, they committed Tombstone as well. Yeah, I think the most important part for Na'Vi is that they start getting stuff on their clinks. Like, yes, they can't really stop Secret, but that's because Secret is a very heads-up team. Whenever you go for a gank or a rotation, they're going to be somewhere else putting pressure or farming. That's how it's always going to go. Wow, so stopping completely is hard. Okay. Two Searing Arrow attacks from Havost. 
drops Poppy down to about 15% of his health. Yeah, Clinks is extremely strong. However, he doesn't have good mana regen in this game. He could use a Soul Ring or something else, like Soul Ring or a uh, Bottle even. He's got Radiant the Ring of Aquila as well as so the it's, it's. <laughs> I played a lot of Clinks. This puts you yeah, a decent mana, but when you start running around a lot, you have to run to base sooner or later. The Puppy Mud Golem coming in behind on Seneco on the top lane. Just trying to force him back out. I Actually, think he, he, he wants it to die right now so he can get the doubles. Yeah. They're still struggling to take any tower as Secret are defending really well here. As you said, the Mud Golem and the Illusion together working hard. Well, how do you push into it in the early stage? Early like, stage is just difficult. You always need to kill the enemy before you push. So you need to use the tombstone in a way that you have the tombstone on the tower and get the kills there. I love this, this, this bash, brother. Funny jukes it perfectly, and now Poppy realizes he doesn't find him. <laughs> Two little stunlings. It's still nice watching, the, watching on the micro incoming. <laughs> That's, it is the doubler. Yeah, they hurt quite a bit as well. 125 damage each. But yeah, this is 111 CS looking at 14 minutes on Antimage. So he's getting really, really fat. He is very close to finishing up no. his Battle Fury after Power Threads. Okay, again, do we look at the clock here? Now we have an Antimage that's getting massive on Team Secret against them. He is still a track anklings at a point where they can deal with him at the moment, or at least deal with him in the next 20 minutes when they're going to be looking to push and take towers. Mm, I, don't, I don't look much towards the Leshrac for that. I look completely towards the clinks. Woo! Okay. Well, that was a fun little battle for Leshrac, and now Arstar doesn't want to really be part of this one either. Zai, Arstar, he's going to drop the last attack. They get rid of the tombstone oh, while keeping Sonego on to Arteezy. Maybe with the Finger of Death, it's enough damage to kill him. He'll blink away. Brain tap off cooldown in two seconds' time, and that will be enough for Zai to get the kill. Oh, he needs the vision. Sonego around the trees into oh, the corner. Nice He'll see him, but now, okay. Brain tap doing the work. He has some help with the Impetus. That was a complete disaster. Losing on Dying Lion and your Leshrac core. And Queen wasn't even there during that Radiant's fight. That was just the Bane and Antimage wrecking you guys. So. And Antimage wow. didn't even have a damage dealing item. Now he's got both of them on the Courier. That's the Battle Fury done for Arteezy. Oh, Bane is TPing up top. He wants to fight this. Radiant's Gets a sleep onto a Tusk, and that might be enough to secure the kill here. Oh, Walrus Punch is going to send Zai flying, but oh, they're not no slow. Uh, no Shadow Strike from S4 to slow him down. Uh, I thought he was going to slow him down and then let Kuroki come up, but he was a little bit too far away, I suppose. They couldn't really get that one. The Battle Fury farming has begun. Now, at this point, Arteezy is 475, almost 500 actually with that camp, um, gold per minute. Yeah, you farm. This is under 16 minute Battle Fury. Yeah. And it's not even a rushed one. He still bought PMS, treads, and a casual ring of regen. Yeah, that's very fast considering considering how every team is trying their best to do something to stop the anti-mage. But in this game, Navi, despite their best efforts, despite killing him before the creeps even spawned, they can't really stop this. But they haven't touched him since that point. Like, he's only one death on Arteezy. Oh. They tried, but he had very good awareness. He backed out when he knew the smoke was coming. Good scouting from Kuroki and just a warning from their team in general. Like, Secret is a very composed team. Well, Arteezy now going to mop up the creeps in the mid. While uh, Navi... Being a little bit more defensive, Havorst. Don't want to keep eyes on him. Looks like we're going to see an early Desolated build from Clinks. Nothing unusual with that. Yeah, but it does, it does flag me. Uh, yeah, Roshan needs to be a, a priority target for Navi. Oh, definitely, yeah. It's definitely high up on your list. I like what Zai is doing. Just giving some bottle charges over to uh, Arteezy so he can keep farming without having to back yeah. after killing the Ancients. And then moving into gank with S4. Oh, they're not uh, going uh, on mid. They didn't get a spotter. They ran up high enough that the Sentry War didn't reveal it. Yeah. I thought they... Uh... They're moving over for a, for a smoke gank of Navi's own. Yeah. So there's smoke over an art style, and he'll just do a three-man smoke. Yeah, they want to find the anti-mage, but he's farming a lot on Ancients right now as he realizes his own jungle is not that safe. Puppy comes in and heals him as well. And they're also keeping tabs on Roshan. Yeah, it's the Chen army sitting inside the pit. Uh, and he managed to sneak it in there while, while Navi were trying to go for the smoke gank. So they'll see the centaur running, but... They don't, they, now they'll understand that everyone else from Secret Dyer's is currently tower. on the north side. Oh, Arteezy, blink so away! Close. The Searing Arrow yeah. is going to disjoint with that last blink. If that connected, he'd be dead right now. Yeah, Hovost was there. He was waiting as Arteezy blinked in on that camp. Almost got the kill with that. But the fact that the Antimage lived through that is a testament. This, this Clinks needs more farm. When you get such a nice prediction of the Antimage movement and still can't kill him, 
That is hurtful. That is just how strong he is. In the meantime, tier one tower brought down by Navi. So Tuskar, the man with the last hit, already got that blink dagger on the Tuskar. So good initiation available for him. Zai scouting out. Actually, it's the Naga Illusions which is scouting out, but it's seeing Heartstar just walk in, drops the tombstone. They wall his punch on the other side and finger of death him. Yeah, that's some hatred to the bane. Yeah, they still game despite the amount of vision that was contributed by Kuroki. Uh, Kuroki is doing a really good job keeping up the scouting a lot, and he still managed to find some farm for himself as well. And but goodbye, puppy. They lose two heroes there. That's a big kill for him too. That was that's 591 gold yep. for Clink just for killing off an enchantress. And that's his entire desolator, I believe, as it's being delivered on the courier now. Yeah, right, it is. Yeah. Cool. He's really, really. Now he's hitting that peak where he has Medallion and Death Slater and can kill anything. Roshan, heroes, towers, anything is a good target for him. Yeah, we'll start with Ancients and then move on to bigger, bigger and better things. Then he's also looking pretty good on his way to that Bloodstone. Yeah, he needs to get some mana boots for his team all the time, else this Klinks has to run to base. But uh, they do have plenty of mana boots in the team though. They're just not slowing down Arteezy. So, okay, he's 1-1-2, one, one, but... With Vlad's Battle Fury, Treads PMS, and now on the way to completing a mana style. Like, he's only got the Blade of Alacrity, so I'm not going to ride home saying, hey, mana style already before 20 minutes. Um, but it's still an insanely strong anti mage this early on in the game. Yeah, it is. It is. Like, normally, the old timing for Battle Fury into a straight mana style without Vladimir's, a good timing was roughly 22 to 24 minutes. And he looks like he could maybe hit that timing even with buying a Vladimir's first. Mm -hmm. So Antimage is getting really strong this game. Yeah. And so is Puppy. That hand of mine is still going to work. He's uh, got the point booster for his for his Aghanim Scepter. Make it a little bit more difficult for Ravorce to kill him off straight away. But right now Ravorce wants bot lane. Yeah. Waiting for that pick off on Zai. He needs one guy to help him. But that he TP support that just came in might flag to Zai. He should back, back up. Because they haven't observed Ward in the lane. They do. He's going to back off. Well, he still hasn't done it yet. And now your attack, Nightmare. In and around the corner. Oh, Lightning uh, doesn't bounce. was thinking about jumping him. Uh, Dandy was hoping for a lightning to bounce all the way over there, but he managed to get far away. Far away with the Bane. And meanwhile, they see a lot of people moving down bottom with that lane ward. <laughs> Means they are just trying to move away, push other lanes. The Mud Golem Scout. Uh, throw those stunts. And Zai keeps his distance. S4, moving up to top lane. It's waiting for someone time. to try and defend against Arteezy. Yeah, no one will defend against Arteezy though. I think they're going to trade a tier 2 tower top for Roshan. The Naga Illusion's in there though, so they know that Roshan's being done. Yep. And you do have a song with the Siren available, but like, how quick can you bring down the tier 2 tower before Navi can finish Roshan? This is not a very good trade for Navi. For Secret, is pretty good. They get a tower and they run anti -mage. Getting tier 2 towers is really huge. So they're very happy with what, what's going on. They might even force TP's back. Because yeah. they're already knocking on the door of the tier 3 tower. They should. They have the double damage as and well. And Zai is waiting for it. Like, the Observer Ward's watching him, and there's that first TP out. And uh, with a double damage on S4, yep, it's going to be that tier 3 tower down by a third of its life. And Tombstone was committed as well, and not really doing anything there. So, very hard for him to take a fight now in their own jungle against Secret here. Ooh, Arteezy. The blink. The ball's going to drag a long, long way, but they lock Arteezy in. One more second until he can blink again. He's got enough life to survive this. And blinks over to the tree line. Soneko going for the sun. Actually gets it. They don't have the proper vision. And Arteezy hexed up. So can still no blink. They still try to finish the job with the finger of death. Yes, they do. The five heroes committed to kill him. But oh. worth it. I was actually surprised that they didn't try to do anything there. But Queen of Pain was very low mana. And could not really go in and use her ulti and scream. Else, I think they could have punished there with so many resources being used to brought and bring Dyer's down the anti-mage. But and still, though, they're not going to get anything out of the AM kill after getting it. Yeah, especially when Kuro lets his Riptide go. So that creep wave's gone on the top lane. <laughs> S4 is also going to TP Almost. himself back to base and pick up the full Aghanim Scepter for, for himself. Yeah, that <laughs> is very nice. Can she, he could kill. No, there's Song, there's Mech. Uh, that, that's a very high armor, I guess, Iron. You can't really bring him down that quickly. Mm. So, uh, the farming game continues, but right now it's looking really terrible for Navi in the sense that AM is pulling ahead and he's soon gonna get to that stage where he's really hard to deal with. At least they got Roshan, so question is, can they do anything with this? Do they have any, any chance to push straight mid? You do when you got a Vorse with an, with an Aegis the Immortal. Because he can still soak up a lot of the burst damage of Seeker or at least force a reaction from them. 
Yeah, he can. I mean, that's the the upside to having Aegis on Klinks is that he can position himself very well, come in from behind and just force a lot of spells to be thrown at him, and it doesn't matter if he dies. But he still needs his team to go in at the same time as he does. Oh, they can kill Puppy. Yeah. Point down. He got his Midas off first. It's fine. Value <laughs> worth. <laughs> so get a little bit, a little bit of extra cash. Uh, that's all he wants, dude. But meanwhile, on top lane, the push continues from Secret. They leave an observer ward behind now. Arstyle, Snaker, and Dendi are all waiting for oh, this. Oh, they want to take this fight? I think so. They they see it. Secret don't. Now they see Arstyle and Zai starts to feed script straight away. Dendi needs to get the sun off, and now Arstyle just gets the soul rip off in time, so he'll be able to survive the ghost after working with it. And Kuro actually triggering off this song of the siren. The Dendi pulse Nova. Oh we'll still God. go to work, but they're all out. A good old Naga Song into TP out. Not a single one getting picked off. He's gonna run to the next camp oh. here. Havost, can he just run and predict it? Oh, I don't think he can kill him. Even with Medallion, oh. RTZ will blink away. Yeah. RTZ very quick there as well to just cut down a tree, run between it, and juke into Fog of War. Triple TP it, bot though. Yeah, making it difficult. So they, they're coming down looking for S4, but S4's not sticking around. He's already moving himself away. Yeah. Still want to say a big props to Navi for their warding, warding game. Those wards have always been giving him the extra advantage before the fights begin. Definitely. Their vision has been really good, and that's despite the fact that Secret have been running a Naga Siren, who also gives so much vision when it's played as a core, or played as a support, and played as a vision support in this sense. Mm -hmm. and it's really hard to, uh, to win the vision game. I'm wondering how long it will be before Kuro actually gets a gem on himself. That's then, a good question. Then you got the scouting and all this wonderful vision for Nal V will just start to disappear. Yeah, I think he might pick it up S4, as next time. Jumping, going for Dendi with a Shadow Strike, the Tombstone from Arstyle. Just trying to force Secret back a little bit further. Yeah, Tombstone has been playing a huge part in this game. It really has. Like, almost every single engagement we see the Tombstone go down. And I like the fact that he went for Gold Scepter on Undying early, realizing that Anti-Mage is going to mess with him if he doesn't. And of course the Enchantress, you counter her as well. The boss is committing so hard to just keeping keeping up with his farm. He's burned all of his mana. There's nothing left for him. Uh, he's going for a hex, so he's gonna be fine when he has it. He's gonna have the hex for anti mage and queen of pain as well. So that way he can actually lock them down and kill them. As long as he finds the right one. Yeah, it's a pretty Anime popular build. Manta done now. True. Hopefully you can find him when he's farming jungle, so that you can just hex him up and kill him immediately. Um, but yeah, the anti mage manta timing uh, twenty five. Observer ward up. But he's dead. There's a bigger <laughs> death to, to ensure the kill. And RTZ! Oh, oh, oh! In from the side! Puppy will survive. The Meg charge against Trigger. Kuro coming to help him out. And a boss oh, is no mana. They'll burn the Aegis to the Immortal. Supports on the way here from Navi. Denny around the corner. He'll start with the Edict. They trigger off the dust into an ensnare. They see a boss and RTZ moving over to Denny trying to remove the oh, mana. Dendi. They get through a boss. They blink in deeper again. The tombstone trying to soul rip Denny up again. In comes just Sonic Wave from S4. They small what? So one small gap in Na'Vi's armor and they have just torn it apart. One more Shadow Strike will fly up. That's a double kill for S4. Dear God, how fast that turned into a disaster. It looked like an easy pick off at first trying to go on the poor little Bambi and then, no, not that easy. She was tanky enough to sustain even through the finger of death. And then oh. just the mana void, so much damage. It hurts so much. It hurts so, so much. And now Secret attack. will take not only the kills, but they'll take the tier 2 tower. Roshan isn't an option at the moment. And yeah. they didn't look like they wanted to go up on high ground. Actually, they're not even going to get the tier 2 tower. They just get fortification from Na'Vi yeah, instead. Yeah, play it safe. They realize it's very short death times here, but they do pick up items. They have the Guardian Greaves now on Kuroki, so no mana is going to be spent when he uses his mech. Very nice for him. Instead of given mana. Even Bank getting a little bit of extra protection with the cloak. More yeah. than likely, we're looking at a Glimmer Cape coming up shortly. Exactly. And the low HP armor is very big against Klings. If you ever get targeted down by Klings and you have Guardian Greaves nearby, that could save your life. So it seemed only moments ago that Arteezy finished the mana style and he's already up to 1900 gold. Yeah, that's what happens when you take a good team fight straight after like that. I like the S4 coming in at the rear end of the fight and just going like, yeah, I want the Leshra kill and the Undying. Those are mine. <laughs> I did this. <laughs> Normally it's the typical AM contribution, but here I'm I'm not too sure. I think the AM did most of that. No, it's the perfect Queen of Pain. It's the Queen of Pain hit and run. You take the kills, you take the glory, you buy yourself something nice. Yes, go buy something nice. Going into the uh, plate mail, actually. So going to add up some armor as well. Just trying to deal with the clinks. I like that. Casual plate mail on uh, Bambi. Casual plate mail on Queen of Pain. 
So they're just trying to prepare for this. It works. Even though it does restrict the damage of the Enchantress, like, is it even really a problem when S4 as well as Animator doing the work? Yeah, not really. He just needed to bait anyway. So he's going to deal some damage with the power traits Midas regardless. It doesn't need to be insane amount of damage because they have an AM and Queen. Here come your two Ogre Club's puppy. Well, Vos is going to find him, but we see the plate mark going a little bit to work. Yeah, and also just the untouchable really <laughs> messes with him. You're not going to get that chain attack off even yeah. with Strafe. You need a BKB for him to be good against Enchantress. You really need BKB on uh, Klinks because then the untouchable doesn't affect you. Dyer's so that's more what I was thinking attack. when I said that Klinks is good against it. <laughs> Uh, Sizi, a very aggressive blink forward. He's got a lot of life to boot. Now he's picked up that Ogre Club of his. It's all going towards the fun Animator BKB. As the Tombstone will drop our star getting stunned up, and the Centaur, the one from Puppy doing the work, because they snowball in on top of Puppy. Makoro stops the fun. The little Shrek stun might be there, but all of Na'Vi are caught napping. And Kuro will TP away. Yeah, he's out. Well played by Kuro. That's the third time, I believe, that he actually disjointed a fight just like that in this very game, so always there to stop Na'Vi and their progress. And this game was looking like Na'Vi were so far ahead in kills in the beginning, and now it's 11 for 15, and the farm is definitely in favor of Secret. And it is. And Arteezy even doing something smarter. He jumped in and creep skipped the bottom lane, and now he's going to creep skip the mid lane as well. So when Kuro comes in and rip tides up the mid lane, there's not going to be any kind of pressure to be, to be applied by Na'Vi onto any of the buildings of Secret. They leave the illusions behind, so they don't knock mop up the whole thing, but they get the TP back from Dendi anyway. Exactly. Forcing the reactions and playing around your opponents. This is what we saw Envy doing a lot as well. That's pretty much the name of the game for AM. Running around and distracting the opponents. We there see, will be a uh, problem for AM, however. He's going to lose his spell shield now that the Silver Edge is done for the Tusker. Hmm. Yeah, that is, that is a very big part. Silver Edge is a really good item against Anti-Mage. Also turns off the uh, mana break, which can be nice. The only downside is if he uses it and then the VKB pops. Yeah. Then it shatters the break effect. Yeah. It looks like uh, Zai hunting a horse. It's straight to the Fiend script. And Arteezy, no mana for you. And Clinks. Well, he thought he was having an innocent stroll through his own jungle. Yeah, not so innocent anymore, and Klinks, one of the most important heroes for Na'Vi right now, cannot lose him as he's he's trying to work and finish his uh, his Hex, but he's just too far from it. Arsal and Dendi, so difficult to slow down Arteezy. They're looking at him, it's like, well, I can decay and lightning, and then Arteezy just backs up, continues to farm. Yeah, they have plenty of farm on their three heroes, but it's just that Secret have more farm on their Antimage. He's just too strong right now. Yeah. With the full BKB ready, he can farm so aggressively. He doesn't have to fear anything. There are some dangerous things, but it really is only when the entire team goes at the same time that he risks dying. I think they're just waiting for Roshan. S4. Oh, he blinks a little bit too oh, far to kill on. the Sigil, but on bottom lane, and he made a quick blink away, but he blinks down into Seneca. And Phonics right behind him, the Sonic wave oh. from S4. Lion didn't stand a chance. Arteezy, there will be the Snowfall to help protect a couple of Na'Vi for a while. But with his BKB on, he just dies deeper. The Mana Void is up in two seconds time. Both Funic and Arsal have burned a hell of a lot of it. And Koro stops the fun. Zion moves forward. He can Nightmare up Dendi or a Vorse. They actually don't see a Vorse in Invis for the moment. Unless they have the gem, they have the dust anyway. And there's your Mana Void with the Snowfall. Again, protection's available, but not for long. Dendi getting beaten apart. Arteezy will take him down. It's a two-for-one trade-off, but it's probably not going to stop here. A Vorse running away in Viz. Arsal limping himself away. Yeah, he just has to run away with the clinks there. Cannot stay. And the tower is definitely going to fall here. Very nice. Can they use keep of going? The song. Or do they just stop? Like, I think they stop. Roshan's up anyway, so yeah. they may as well grab it. Back and pick up items as well. You almost have the Hex or the Shiva finished up on Queen of Pain. As she just needs a little bit more. They could definitely go for the Roshan now, as to have Vladimir's on AM. They might be a little bit worried, though, that someone might come and grab it. Yeah. They're probably going to wait until they have the song and play completely safe. Yeah. And a level... Uh, okay, it's a level 2 ulti, but Puppy's already 15 and a half levels, 30, 32 minutes into this game with an Aghanim Scepter. Yeah. It's the Midas. Helps him keep up high in levels. He has only been part of four kills, and that's including the ones where he was not present with his hero. So, uh... He, he uses his Midas 
very well and just keeps staying on uh, level. Funic, bottom lane, they go for Arteezy. No finger of death, still on cooldown, but the Earth Spike is still available and they use the Silver Rage to try and break and then BKB, they jump up and they go, copping one of those impairs to the face. Man. Oh, Funic Gloomer caped away to safety. That is unfortunate. One of the sad things about the last... Wait, Avorst? Oh, oh, they're still okay, going. These, like, okay, they see him. There's okay. a gem over on Kuro. So Avorst, very, very visible. The Snowball protects him, and they're chasing after Kuro Zai. He's oh, got Fiends Grip available, work. and Funic might do that. Havorst, the Sonic Wave from S4. Perfect sniping at the end. Denny getting Impetus down by Puppy. It's a three-for-one trade-off, and they're running away. Our style North, as well as Funic South. But our style's the man to die, as well as his Tombstone. The Ghost have to buy him a little bit of extra time. I believe, Only a little bit. I believe that that might be it. That's three team fights in a row that they have been completely demolished by Team Secret. And when you're losing this many team fights in a row to an anti mage snowballing this hard, uh, there's not much to do. They have a tusk behind the enemy lines. He needs to go in by a TP scroll here from the sideline. They even spot, uh, spot him out, but they don't care about him. And almost too easy. Almost too easy. Uh, Tizi's just having a fantastic and easy game. Yeah, he definitely is. There was one point when we almost could kill him. The Lion and Tusk were going in. They needed the Silver Edge punch onto him and the finger afterwards. But there was a miscommunication. He didn't punch him. And then he used the finger for nothing into the spell shield. The, the, the finger was was also on cooldown when they started that. Yeah, that was on, another reason. On bottom the second time? Yeah, in the next fight. Ah, you're talking about the one before? Yeah, the previous one uh, where they were going in a little bit ham. The big team fight that resulted in a disaster. But right now, it's just recovery time for Navi. Like, if they can finish up this item on Clinks, he's been working for so long to get this Hex, and he def desperately needs it. It's, it's too long to take. Yeah, right now, it's at the point where the Hex item choice was not a good one. If he just went into Crystalis, it would have been better. But that's easy to say now in hindsight. Yep. If he did get his Hex at a decent timing, that would have been amazing. But now... You're just lacking physical damage so much. Mm -hmm. The disable won't even matter that much anymore. Yep. Well, it's easy to be able to tank through it. He's about to finish up his full butterfly and probably even still have buyback at the end of it all. Yeah. They are going for Roshan though, and there's no one close enough to stop this. Uh, so they can just keep going. Almost it's a defensive no tombstone. Down. They're coming. Yeah. But they might just wait on. Okay, Funic blinks himself up. Nightmare up pretty quickly by Zai. Zai's got his own Gloomer Cape and turns in to the Fiend's Grip. So Funnick is down for the count. Arteezy moves forward as well. They find Zendi out of possession. Boom! Goes the main. Yeah, like Lesha can't do anything against this. And Denny back to the world of but look at the Appendix damage! That did more damage than probably anything else to Denny, and GG is the call, and rightly so. They may have taken Roshan, but it was a bittersweet consolation prize. 21 to 17, secret in under 36 minutes, take game number one of our two game series. Very convincing manner. The early game, Navi were doing good. They found a lot of kills, but they were running around a lot as well. And meanwhile, Arteezy was free farming. They were not contesting his free farm 